Hi everybody, it's Christine Bertram and I'm coming to you live from the Hive on Tuesday and we are going to be doing Tip Tuesday. I got a quick, easy, down and dirty <laughs> Tip Tuesday for you. Um, and it's in conjunction with some swap cards. We had the Be Happy Stampers team swap party on Sunday, August 7th. <laughs> I was gonna say 17th, but it was the 7th. Um, today is the 17th, woohoo, okay. So um, I'm gonna show you a few of the swap cards that my fabulous teammate made and share with you a little tip. So Diane and I were working on designing some cards for the Let's Just Stamp card class that's coming up in actually October, working a little head um, <laughs> when I can with Diane. And um, all of a sudden I'm like, oh, this would be a good Tip Tuesday. Hi, Becky Christensen. And I thought, well, I need a Tip Tuesday for today, so why not share this one? And then share with you the cards that are coming up for Let's Just Stamp that are gonna be in October. And today's the 16th. Oh my gosh, it's Tuesday, Becky, thank you. I was thinking this morning, so I think all morning I've been thinking it's Wednesday the 17th, and I'm glad you corrected me, thank you. My eye doctor called, and I'm like, yep, yep, my appointment's at 810, I know that. Um, and I thought they were calling to tell me, hi Randy Schultz, I thought they were calling to tell me that I missed my appointment because when they called, I thought today was Wednesday. And thank goodness they were just calling to talk to me about like um, insurance updating and all that kind of stuff instead. So yes, tomorrow is the 17th Wednesday. Today is the 16th <laughs> Tuesday. Hi Pamela, hi Patsy, hi Linda Hodge, hi Rhonda Ayers. So now that we have that figured out, <laughs> tip Tuesday is the 16th, I appointments tomorrow at 810. I gotta get up early for that one. Hi Penny Falls, last night was mystery card night, you guys. So yesterday was the 15th. My dinner party with uh, my boyfriend and our two friends went really, really well. We celebrated a birthday last night. So we had a nice little dinner and it was gung ho. <laughs> After I got done, hi Mary Mills Hartman. Hi Linda Hall, hi Kathy King. Uh, so it was gung ho. As soon as I was done with the live, you guys, I ran inside and sauteed mushrooms, sauteed onions. Hi Carmen Melendez. And uh, had the baked potatoes already, the potatoes were already baking. Like I put them in the oven at 457. <laughs> I literally put them in the oven right before I came out here to do the live. And Tyler was in charge of the steaks, but um, he did not have time to do the Brussels sprouts. So I made the Brussels sprouts. And so it all came together and our friends were 15 minutes late, which was perfect because that bought us enough time to have everything ready when they got there. So a lot of you said that you wished me good luck with the dinner. So it went really well and uh, everything was amazing. So woohoo. So mystery card night though. Um, I, hi, Kathy Miller. I did send out the reminder that um, the links that had the lives for the Facebook live, the replays, and then the YouTube. And I also shared a link that if you guys have a hard time finding where to post your cards, um, that link is in the email that I just sent. So if you get emails from Cards by Christine, my website, you should have gotten an email. I had it scheduled for noon. Uh, and there's a link in there that all you have to do is click on it. It takes you right into Facebook and you should be able to share your card then. Now, if you don't get emails from Cards by Christine, um, thanks Linda Hunt. If you don't get emails from Cards by Christine, you might wanna consider signing up to get emails from me because I send notifications about upcoming classes, about sales, about anything that's really going on and thank yous with all the links to all my past classes as they happen. And so um, when you go to my link, cardsbychrispy.com, there's a spot to subscribe to my newsletter. And by subscribing to my newsletter and my emails, that's what gets you sending me sending you emails. And you can unsubscribe at any time. So, woo woo. Okay, so that's a little bit about Mystery Card Night. We got the date figured out. We know it's the 16th today. <laughs> Hi, Joanna. Um, what I wanna do for you, share with you technique, Tip Tuesday. Oh, Linda Hall, you tried for an hour, uh, you tried for an, over an hour to find it. Okay, let's flip down here. So this is my website. It's cardsbychrisb.com. Um, yay, you finally caught me in the beginning, Linda Grady. That's awesome. <laughs> so cardsbychrisb.com. And honestly, I'll show you even really quick on here. So if you go to my website, let's hopefully something good comes up. Okay, cardsbychrisb comes up. I guess the easiest way I would tell you is go to my events. Like any of the pages will take you there, but it's underneath, there's a picture of me. And then if you keep scrolling down, it says sign up for my emails. And you need to put in your email address, hit sign up. You'll get an email asking you to confirm your, hi Diane Rangi and Louise Power. You'll get an email asking to confirm it. 
hi, Cindy Miller and Pat Thomas. And then you should be good to go. And you'll start getting emails me going forward. And so I know every day a few more people sign up for it. So that's awesome and amazing. Hi, Donna Simmer. So we have Abigail Rose coming up on Thursday. And I had a few more sign up after class um, last night, after Mystery Car Night. So just a reminder, this is what we're doing on Thursday. Okay, the Abigail Rose. You guys, I still have a handful or maybe let's say 10. Um, hi, Hildy. Um, 10 more of those. I'll share my mystery card with you guys on Thursday. But let's talk about Tip Tuesday. And I'm going to lead into my tip for Tip Tuesday because I want to share with you what Diane and I have been working on. So we, Diane and I, designed the Let's Just Stamp cards together. And we got done September and we got done with October cards. So September features Ringed in Nature, uh, Ringed with Nature or Ringed in Nature stamp set. And you guys, disclaimer, um, yes, hi, Hildy, nice surprise to see you here. Uh, we did decide to go forward with using the Celebration Ringed with Love Designer Series paper in September, even though it's a Celebration item and it will have retired as of August 31st. We just thought it would make sense to use that paper because it really complements the stamp set nicely. So putting it out there that um, we are gonna be using some retired product with this class, but it will have just retired. And as we were designing, it's current. So, and you can still buy it while I'm sharing these cards with you, or I shouldn't say you can buy it. You can earn it for free with a $50 order. So, all right, so this is the first card. And you guys do not have to worry about having much for stamps because this house is actually part of the designer series paper, as are these birds. And it's a little fun fold. And so that's what this one looks like. There are some little leafy things stamped in the background here just to add some texture around the edges. Hi, Marilyn Skorker from Vermont. So you guys, and the sun is actually a punch. And so you'll need some birds and that's, and some blue ink. So that one's an easy one. Uh, very nice. And... I'm leading up to tip two to you guys. Then this is another card and it really features the ringed with love designer paper and a textural element. The mushrooms, you'll need to have something for mushrooms, but I'm considering um, having them die cut um, for you and also having paper. And then the little stump comes in there. So this is, again, let's just stamp for September. Hi, Rose. And then this was our Christmas card featuring that poinsettia paper and having that poinsettia stamp that's part of ringed with love. So... Uh, you guys, this was Let's Just Stamp. We just got these done. Haven't even showed them to anybody yet. They're not even published on the website. Thanks for sharing, Marilyn. So that's Let's Just Stamp for September. And then what we worked on today was Let's Just Stamp for October, which leads me to our Tip Tuesday that I'll do here momentarily. But this features the Apple Harvest. Hi, Annabelle. Yes, the paper is so pretty um, for this last one. You betcha, that paper is so gorgeous. So this features the got the cottage or gingham cottage designer series paper and we did the apple harvest which you guys it has dyes that are coming out soon um, for customers you can start to buy them next month demonstrators could already get their hands on them but again it's let's just stamp so we try to focus more on using fussy cutting but in person i know diane's going to let you guys use your die or use her dies and so these are the three cards for let's just stamp in October featuring Apple Harvest. Again, this was September and this is October. And this is you guys, oh my gosh, if you didn't figure out what mystery card night looks like, this is using that same diagonal slice cut for mystery card, okay? So this is, doing this card gave me the idea to do that for mystery card. So, so um, again, Gingham Cottage. And so we colored our apples here. Hi, Denise, hi, Susan. We colored our apples here. And then we got to the last card and we're like, huh, hmm, these, so this is tip Tuesday, you guys. These are the colored pencils that Stampin' Up! has. They're watercolor pencils. They have two different collections, right? They have a crushed curry and they have a daffodil, the light. And then they have an old olive and a granny apple. Hi, Laura Sullivan. And we were like, well, the old olive worked good for these two. And they're honestly, these are the same greens. It's just coloring with more pressure and coloring with less pressure. And then the reds are the same too, except for there's a little less watercolor pencil action here and there's a little bit more. So using your watercolor pencils at different pressures will give you lighter and darker. But the real tip comes in with this beautiful golden delicioso apple, <laughs> golden delicious apple. 
So using daffodil by itself was too light and using crushed curry by itself was garbage. And so we're like, well, what if we mix the two? And I never think to do this with watercolor pencils. I don't use watercolor pencils all so much, but we thought with these cards, it would be appealing to use watercolor pencils. And so what we did is we used crushed curry, the darker one, a really light layer on the bottom. And then we went over the top of it with daffodil delight. And so we used look at this crushed curry looks like puke actually it looks like garbage Jack. <laughs> that is not crushed curry that looks like some sort of soft suede but then honestly when you use the two let's grab a little piece of paper here so hang on on momento we got here so if you do like a little layer of crushed curry so that's what that looks like and then you go over the top of it with the daffodil you get a different color of yellow and then you take your blender pen and you smooth that all out and it looks awesome so that's my tip for you guys today is to merge your watercolor pencils together and don't just think you have to use the color as it is the other thing too we did was with the greens we did for the leaves we did the old olive underneath and then we did granny over the top. And when you merge these two colors together, you get a, a subdued granny apple, which is kind of what we were going for that one. So, so there's your tip, you guys, uh, to blend your watercolor pencils together. I'm sure Judy Immel does this all the time because she is the watercolor um, water marker, or watercolor pencil queen to me. <laughs> uh, she always comes with them to class because she prefers to color with them. So hi, Chris Wrench. And I should say Joy Wrench. I'm sure that's Joy watching. Ha, ha, ha. Um, okay, so you guys, this is another class you could already... So this one in September, you could already place an order to get this class for free, or you can pay for it already. When it comes to a month past the next one, so like we're in August, this is October, you could already sign up for this class, but if you want to place an order for this class, the order would be taken in September because it's an October class. Or if you're paying for it, you could always pay for it. Paying up ahead is fine. Hi, Marsha Kulabert. It's just, uh, hi, Pam Dufek. Um, it's just that you can't place orders and bank your orders for months on out, right? So orders are always taken in the for the classes in the month of your order or the next month. That's it. So, But you can always get on the sign-up list for this one. So there's your little bit of a tip Tuesday. Uh, so this card goes, my little recipe card goes in here. All right. So that's, let's just stamp the next two months. Oh! as long as I'm at it, I might as well show you guys a little sneakier peeker of what's coming up for the September monthly card making class. Fall cards. <laughs> so we've got these three featuring Cottage Wreath. Hi, Holly Gentry. Ringed with Nature, which is that same stamp set over here. And then the Perched in a Tree or Aspen Tree dies are used. So you guys, I will be doing a showcase video. I will be doing the September showcase video once I have I have one more card for Rustic Harvest to finish, and I have um, two more for Splendid Thoughts Ink, Paper, Scissors, and I might just do the showcase then because then all that's left is the September game night. So there's a lot of classes coming up in September again, but just a little sneaky, let's show you one more time. This is in case you want to get signed up for these, you can already do that. That's the September monthly class. You need a stamp with a sentiment, a bird or some sort and a sentiment. And this one, you need a sentiment because all the rest, die cutting, embossing is done for you. Okay, so that's a little bit about what's coming up. But let's share with you now some team swap cards. So I had the Be Happy Stampers team swap party on August 7th. This was made by Mary Bowman using that split card texture or split card technique. It's like a die split card technique. Here's the cottage wreath. What awesome. And she used that little oval punch that has the double oval, the scallop, and then the smooth one. She put a cute red ruffled bow on here and made a little Christmas card. Good job, Mary. This one came from Tammy Sokolik. So you guys, Pay attention to this card because I am totally casing this layout for my Fun Folds class, which is coming up, not using these stamps per se, but this layout is going to be for the Fun Folds class in October. So this goes like this. I love it. So, and then this looks like that. And to see it from the side, super awesome layout. So I'm going to definitely case this layout and then it opens up like that. So Super, super cool. So keep your eyes open for this layout. I'm definitely going to hoard this card, put it upstairs, and earmark it for um, a fun fold that I'm going to be doing in October. This one comes from Bonnie L'Esperance. 
She wanted to use the Scottish Terrier or the like Christmas Scotty bundle, but she wanted to make a non-Christmas card. So she went for um, the Starry Night Designer Series paper and some balloons that are using some of the glimmer paper. She put these cutesy little bows on the Scottish Terriers and made it into a birthday card. Where is the plaid paper? That right here, this plaid paper. This is all from Gingham Cottage. Look at that. So this paper is the same as that one. That and that are all from Gingham Cottage. It is a suite in the new um, catalog, the new mini catalog um, that is all different colors. This one also comes from Mary Bowman um, and she used the Jingle 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 stamp set. Used some red glimmer paper, Evening Evergreen Cherry Cobbler, the specialty glimmer along the side here, which is so glimmery. Uh, Santa Express Designer Series paper was on some, and some got the Lights Aglow, and I got one with Lights Aglow Designer Series paper. So, and then she added some of the rhinestones on here. So, so very pretty for that one, Mary. This one is from Miss Anna Rebidou, and she did the scary cute. You guys, she made her own little ghost. The ghost comes from the... There, in the annual catalog, there's a bird punch. Sweet Songbirds is the name of the punch. And she did a little um, Frankensteining here. And she uh, hacked off a little bit of it and made a ghost. And she made a little face on it. Cute little bow here. This is that scary cute. And the, she did what's, I don't know, Memento Pocash, Gorgeous Grape Curry Polished Pink Pumpkin Pie. She did a background here. I'm trying to remember if she did vellum. But she did a fabulous job making a spooky sky and I, hi, Becky Gandolfo. Very pretty with the purples and the pink. So the ink colors were crushed curry, gorgeous grape, polished pink, and um, pumpkin pie. So, so cool. So Anna, when you watch this, I know that you're uh, at work now, but if you watch this and you want to say exactly what you did for your blending background, that would be awesome. I know she even put sh sugar or salt. So you can kind of, there's these little baby dots. So as it's still wet, you sprinkle either sugar I think salt and it kind of it's salt I think it's salt and it like pulls up some of the color super cool this one comes from Miss Ann Bellinger out in Vermont and she did the soft seedlings and she did like I want to say the baby wipe technique and it um it is so cool because she's got multiple colors in the middle of that leaf stitched rectangles that falling leaf embossing folder on the back uh, some of the festive pearls in gold and the black gingham ribbon is awesome. So here you guys go. The, the black gingham ribbon was used on both of these cards. So pretty. Um, yep, so that one was Ann Bellinger's. This one is Miss Diane Bogenhagen's. And she did a Halloween card. She loves the Halloween. Scallop contour big dye. She did a um, little picture mat kind of like. So the designer paper is black and white. And she colored all the pumpkins and she colored all the stars and she colored all the little ghosts. Little hat is from Bewitching. That's where this little star comes from as well. And then the stamps that were in Bewitching are the boo and the spider. And she added some of the metallic mesh along the side, you know, the sides there. Super cool. She kind of wrapped it and then combined it in the middle to make it look like it was going down at an angle. Stylish shapes are for the circles. You guys, those are on low inventory at the moment. So if you're, uh, they're on your wish list and you want them soon, you should get them now before they go out of stock, but they will come back. So no worries, no rush if you don't get them. Hi, Wendy Westmoreland. This one is, uh, who did the gnomes? Bonnie. Ah, okay. <laughs> Bonnie did the gnomes as well. Uh, she has a little, the little dude down here. The trees are from the tree lot dies, Aspen embossing folder, and then the scallop contours uh, for that label. The background here is from the lights of glow as well. It's actually the same pack of paper that this one came from. So cool. Oh, Linda Hunt likes the Halloween card. Yay. Donna Simmer's got some mesh coming. Very cool. Uh, so that would be, okay, this goes with this card down here. I have everybody, when you're on my team and you do my swaps, you give me a little recipe so I know what I'm talking about when I do my lives with you guys. And then last but not least, we had here, uh, this one is Anna Rebidou, and that must go with Bonnie's. Okay, so that's there. So Anna Rebidou had the uh, perched in a tree. She had the aspen tree dyes, and these are from the Joyful Flurry Snowflakes little blue bird. She did the iridescent trim wrapped around the pool party sheer. 
And um, if you guys see this vellum back here, it's like the snowflake plush velvet. So it's the snowy white velvet is what she used for the snowflake. But then there's um, snowflake vellum. So this background here is snowflake vellum. And what she did, you guys, if I did, if you remember, she told me to do a tip Tuesday a few weeks back about coloring this paper. Well, she colored the back side of the vellum where the plush isn't. And so when she colored it, the plush velvet did not take on the color, right? Because she put color on the opposite side. So I only colored the top and that really accentuated the plush velvet. But by doing the back, you don't get the color on the velvet. So super cool. So it was opposite, but she was the one that recommended I do that tip Tuesday. And then she sponged around the edge. The dies are from the picture, this dies. That's where that little die, the little rectangle comes from because the stitching is slightly different. You can see it's like dash, dot, dash, dot, dash, dot. So yeah, Anna did a beautiful job on this one. Iridescent rhinestones um, were what she used to accentuate for embellishments. So, and I love it, a double ribbon. So, yay. Okay. I think that's it, you guys. Yeah, those are some beautiful cards. The team does an amazing job. If you guys are on the Be Happy Stampers, the my team, you're always welcome to participate in swaps with me and my team. Uh, we always do them with the launch of a new catalog. So, we just did the mini catalog and then the next team swap party won't be until, well, actually I'm going to be going to on stage with a group of people. So the team is going to be doing swaps with everybody else, but the, um, the next official team swap will be in um, January and it'll feature the new spring mini catalog. So um, if you're on the team and you're hesitant about uh, joining in a swap, don't stress about it. Always love to help people with their first swaps um, on my team uh, just to make sure everything's like following the guidelines. Hi, Janet. Um, swaps are when you make like, let's say 10 of the same card and you swap with nine other people because uh, you would make the 10th person and you get their nine cards back plus yours. And so when I host swap parties and swaps, uh, basically you make all the same card and you get different cards back. So I do that a lot at the beginning of the calendar cycle because it helps me to get inspiration and ideas. And I can take maybe, let's say, five cards that I get and be like, oh, I like this aspect of this card. I like this aspect of this card. Oh my gosh, the fun fold on this one's cool. And I like blend them all together. And swapping gives me ideas to make awesome class cards for you guys. So swaps are fun to get into. Um, if you, as long as you follow the guidelines, right? Because everybody does swaps differently. Um, and so there's just... Um, yeah, different ways to get ideas. So, all right, you guys. Well, that is my quick, easy, down and dirty <laughs> tip Tuesday. And uh, <laughs> sorry, I breathed in too fast and I almost had a cough and then I tried not to cough and then I still had to cough. So <clears throat> that's what happened there. Um, so that's my quick, easy, down and dirty tip Tuesday meets my little swap card showcase uh, for the team swap. So yay. Okay. I um, think that's it. If you guys need anything, reach out. Um, let me know. Uh, I know that I was able to help get a few of the Abigail roses. I'm actually heading to the post office now to drop them off and um, should be good. Some people will get some card kits hopefully in the mail soon. Uh, yeah, Kathy, they are all amazing. So thanks. Oh, you're very welcome, Randy. And don't forget to show, um, share this video with your friends. Um, dinner was great, Hildenel. I mentioned it earlier in the Facebook Live. So when I hang, hang up, when I, when I hang up, when I hit end, you can go back and catch the replay. And I talked about it on there, um, but it was really good. Food turned out fabulous. It was good. We did not go hungry. So all right, you guys, we will see you Thursday night for Abigail Rose. Lots of sunshine, love, and hugs to you. Um, my table is clean, yes. Becky, I'm, Diane's got class in here tonight. She has 16 people for the Let's Just Stamp card class in person. Whoa, she's got, she's mentally preparing herself now. Hi, Brenda from Ontario. And so um, if anybody still needs Let's Just Stamp with the pot of geraniums, I still have card kits left for that one as well. So, all right, you guys, we'll see you on Thursday for Abigail Rose. Lots of love and hug to you guys. Bye.